Jazz Jazz had a banana. <laughs> Hi, welcome to another YouTube video with Anilla. Do you have a problem where you just have to translate everything from your language into English and then speak it that way? 95% of you do. I know it could be frustrating. I know it could be like, oh, it takes me such a long time to translate from my own language into English and then use it. I don't want to be speaking like this forever. And you will not. I am here to help you stop doing that. I am here to help you become more fluent. So let's, let's start. Imagine there are three ways of you solving this problem. The first one is this big. The second one is this big. And the third one is this big. Whoa! This is my favorite popcorn thing. Don't, don't, mine. There are three steps that you need to do in order to stop translating and in order to be more fluent. The first step is not so big. The second step is a bit bigger. And the third one is really freaking cool and really freaking bad. Yeah. Let's talk about the first one. As you can see, this one is not gonna be so hard. What you will have to do is walk around your house, your apartment, your city, your country, traveling, and you just name objects around you. But remember, it's gonna be in your head. You're not gonna be doing that out loud. You are gonna be thinking in English. This is a ball. And that is a wall. That's my doggo. These are my curtains. That's my arm. Left leg, right leg. External memory. Buttons, elevator, fan. Yeah, that simple. Name the objects around you. Step number two. It's kind of bigger, right? Well, here, instead of naming the objects only, you will be talking about your feelings. Feelings or situations around you. The first one, is smaller because we're talking about single words. This is a huh, that is a huh. But the second one is bigger because we're talking about sentences, okay? Not words anymore. So, what's this on my nose? Let's dance, let's dance, let's dance, dance today. Look at this little cutie. My sister's hot. Look at that ugly ass face. Uh, I love driving in the morning with some music on. Gifts? I want a gift too. I love morning coffee. Ah, oh, night rides are oh, so Look at good. her chubby cheeks. She's so cute. Tall buildings remind me of Tokyo. You saw that. Kind of longer, right? And number three. Number three, conversations. You will be having conversations with yourself. It's not about single words anymore. It's not about sentences and your feelings anymore. It's about conversations with yourself. Let me teach them how to do conversations now. Why is my dad driving this fast? What if we die and I just don't get to do what I wanted to do? I should just keep enjoying my days one day at a time. One forest at a time too. But this forest as well has some weird creatures though. Look at this little warm. Okay, I think I enjoyed the mountain long enough. Now let me go back to the city and get fat. I'm so getting fat. This is way too much. But I love music. So I'm gonna lose weight. Right? So you go from small particles into bigger ones and the biggest ones. You need time. Take 10 days for the small ones. Every single day, name 20 objects in your head. Then take 10 days for little sentences. Every single day, tell yourself how you're feeling in English, in your head. 10 days. And then take 10 days for the third part, which is conversations. Why did I actually tell you to do it step by step? This is why. Let's say this is your brain, okay? This is your brain. This is the size of your brain before you actually learn English. The first step, you do this. The second step, you do this. And the third step, you do this. If you do this, it's gonna go back real quick. So go step by step. Three steps. If you do it like that, your brain is gonna stay like that forever. It's not gonna go back to the original form. Ooh. <laughs> that was today's lesson. Hope you learned, hope I helped. 
Don't make me waste my time again. Please take this advice and do it. Execute on it. Because if you don't, I'll just erase my YouTube and my Instagram. I don't care anymore. You gotta do what I tell you to do. Thanks. Guys, thank you so much for watching another video of mine today. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram. And if you're interested in online English classes with other teachers, the website is down there.